Good afternoon everybody, welcome to More Lane 4. Third game here this season, Salford City versus Kidderminster Harriers and Salford will be looking for a fourth win on the bounce against one of the better, another of the better teams in the league this afternoon. I'm Will Warcroft, alongside me I've got uh, Jack Glennon and Jack, it's another big game early on but a fourth game on the bounce is a really big dangling carrot. It definitely is and as you say, you know, another big game, another big opponent. Salford back in possession still. Burton back to Piers Johnny. It's a great ball into Maynard. Maynard through the middle. Rich Allen's carried on his run. Rich Allen into the air, onto his right foot. He's got to the byline, pulls it across the face of goal, and it's just in front of Dizarue. It was the right side of Daly, but what a ball through for Maynard, and what a good cross that was by Rich Allen. Hornow now angles the ball forward. Well taken by Joanne Sides there as well. Sits it through to Nupes on side here. Down the left hand side, Manny to Nupe. Great tracking back by Liam Hogan to win that ball. And he's given a penalty. No way. Absolutely no chance. The referee's got that completely wrong. And I don't mind saying that because Liam Hogan has slid in there. He's won the ball. He's blocked it from Snoopy. And he's recovered to bring it away. Ironside. Right foot and looking down. Croken makes the save. And that is what you call karma from Max Croken down to his left hand side it wasn't the most you know confident of penalties for Dan Bradley Liam Hogan the captain on the yellow cards alongside Carl Pierjani and Michael Nottingham they're flanked by Jake Beasley and Ibu Torre Scott Burton also on the yellow cards alongside Lois Maynard in the middle got Rich Allen in front of them and forward two of Dizrue and Jack Redshaw who's just come on for Anthony Dudley Dizrue into D Redshaw Redshaw it's the far post and he's done it again he scored within a couple of minutes on his debut against Blackpool and he's come on as a substitute here and in the 46th minute given Salford City the lead excellent stuff from the Amis and the lead 1-0 here at Moore Lane against Kidderminster Harriers Nottingham takes it Goes down the line looking for uh, Dizrue. Turns past his man well. Manny Dizrue gets ball into Minna Retro with another touch on it. And it's that combination again. I'm not sure who's going to claim that one. Retro celebrating. Dizrue might have floated straight in. What do you think, Jack? I want to say that Redshaw got a little touch on it with his left foot as he sort of threw himself towards the ball. But looking at the way you know, they're celebrating, it's kind of just it's gone in and we're happy it's gone in so I don't think they'll be too bothered looking at the way that Redshaw is celebrating though I think that he feels he's got a touch on it Bradley Bradley into Crowsdale back to Bradley being marked by Allen at the moment knocks into Taylor it's good to by Nugatala to get round Liam Hogan plays it into middle into Snoopy Snoopy tricked his way into the box Hogan recovering well though taking it away from Snoopy he was trying to set himself up too perfectly for the shot he needed to take it earlier at the top of the box there there's a bit of frustration also coming from the Kidderminster fans behind that goal as you know as he brought that forward and had the opportunity to shoot and chose not to as a player two Kidderminster players one to his left and one to his right seemingly in space where he could have played them you know in on goal and chose not to instead and eventually Liam Hogan comes back to pick the pieces up and Redshaw is in behind here could this be his hat trick Jack Redshaw onto his left foot comes off the crossbar Brandon Hall commits himself there Redshaw was in the right place where you want to centre forward to be it was a really really dodgy back pass and Redshaw off the bar unlucky just being nervous to hurry up with this goal kick. Sends it down the middle. It's flicked on by Einside into Bradley. Bradley's got space onto his right foot and he sends that shot over into the kid amidst the fans. And uh, the natural go to what a waste of money coming from the Salford fans aimed towards Dan Bradley. Confirmation of that substitution for Kidderminster. It's Andre Brown coming on for Manny Sanupe, which is an interesting sub. Like you'd thought with his uh, goals and stuff, he's in form, but obviously John Eustace sees it another way. Andre Brown just on, he's on the ball now, he gets past Pierre Johnny onto his right foot, a little bit closer to crossbar, but still blazed over from Andre Brown. Out to the left hand side to Joel Taylor. Taylor now cutting in field, still going with it, runs into Scott Burton, comes to Beasley, it's offered again on the attack. Redshaw tries to knock it past Digi. Beasley following up though, wins it back. 
into Redshaw. Lovely turn past Crozel there from Redshaw. Now looks up, spreads the ball to Leicester side. Allen brings it down at the top of the box, back into the middle of the box, sliding in, wins it. Rich Allen right footed, hooks it round and just brings it over the bar. Lovely footwork from Rich Allen. Great determination to win it back as well. Kidderminster forced all the way back to Brandon Hall as Mike Phoenix is preparing to come on. Obviously, Salford not done yet with the goals. Hall's ball forward is headed back by Piergiani. One by Taylor. Bees on the right hand side. It's intercepted by Nugatala on the left for Kidderminster. Cutting in field now into Bradley. Seems to have dropped off a little bit more in this half. Bradley to Nugatala. Takes it. Turns. Goes to shot himself. Dips it over the crossbar. It's another effort, but it's another one off target for Kidderminster. Kidderminster with another spell at the moment. Starting to get themselves on the ball on the left hand side. Cross comes in, intercepted by Hogan at the near post, sticking a leg out behind him and getting that one in. Sulfur clear it upfield onto Redshaw on the halfway line. Plays it back to Beasley, Beasley to Allen. Allen turns past Bradley, turning back towards goal at the moment, but he feeds it out to the right hand side into Beasley on the touch line. Down the line, Phoenix is on side here. Heavy touch out, Sulfur three on two here. Phoenix into box, puts it across Redshaw with a tap in. Redshaw for his hat trick and what a way to announce your Saturday debut here at Moor Lane on his second game back here at Salford City gets a hat trick against Kidminster Harriers and as we stop port this is turning into a very important victory and just begs the question as well as everybody's played what way can the man in the match result go well, I think just, you know, if we're just going to go on goals alone, then it's, your man of the match has to be Jack Redshaw. To come on and make an impact like that, you can't ask for anything more, can you? Not really, but it's another one of those. You're looking and you're saying the whole team today have been absolutely fantastic from back to front. I mean, we've still got 10 minutes to go before we think of that one. Rich Allen, again, I'm tempted to throw into the ring because his balls, he's controlled that attack in midfield. And, you know after last season a lot of people were doubting he's won the ball back now plays ball down the right hand side again for Beasley Beasley knocks it into the area still got it Beasley pulls it back Phoenix with a touch trying to be too cute with it he beat the near post he beat his man to it as well Mike Phoenix but couldn't add his name to the score sheet so it remains 3-0 here at Moor Lane Kidderminster you know a bit dazzled and confused and not really knowing what to do and that's, that's what we're talking about with the not having a plan B and it's it's amazing really to think that they don't have one because especially with a team like Salford who can pick you apart and have done when when you commit so many people forward you'd, you'd imagine there maybe would have been a change in formation where they would have left a few more people towards the back or been a bit more compact and tight but they haven't been at all and as one of the other full time sides in the league you know you might expect more but referee blows full time whistle a little bit prematurely here Salford City 3 Kidderminster Harriers nil. Jack Redshaw coming on at half-time for a second-half hat-trick. And all-round, an absolutely fantastic afternoon's work from Salford City.